Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you our short six days trip to Canada, Vancouver. And we went there from San Francisco airport. This is one of my favorite airports actually, because it has a lot of cute stores. It always has a little museum station and uh, a lot of nice cafes as well. The flight was also pretty nice and short. It's just two hours from San Francisco to Vancouver. And I saw a lot of snow, mountains, that was really, really beautiful. When we arrived, we went straight to the subway because the transportation, the public transportation in Vancouver is actually really great. We checked in in our hotel, Hotel Blue. Hello. Okay, quick room tour. This is me. This is Pasha. Our bathroom. Real quick. What do we have here? Oh, okay, nice. We have a transparent wall. Oh. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. We can close it if we want to. <laughs> this is our room. Our bed. What do we have here? Microwave. Refrigerator. Oh, nice. There is also the compost bin. We also have a coffee machine, teapot, everything as usual. Oh, we have chupa chups. <laughs> Which one do you want? Okay. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Pretty nice room, I think. What about the view? Let's see the view. Okay, we have a view of another building here. Oh, we actually have a little bit of downtown vibes here. And I think it looks cool. I think it will look cool in the night as well. Yeah, I like it. We didn't have a lot of plans for the first day because we knew that we would be tired after the flight and we just went to Chinatown. We also went to the downtown east side and uh, now I know that it's kind of similar to the tenderloin in San Francisco. We also went to the Ukrainian restaurant Kozak and it's actually pronounced Kazak, I believe. And they had a lot of nice cocktails and one of my favorite dish, which is borscht and also salo. They also had an instructions on how to eat borscht as an Ukrainian. <laughs> and this restaurant was really, really delicious beautiful and the stuff was great and uh, yeah we had a really pleasant experience there and then we went for a walk to the guest town street to see the famous clock and we also went to a couple of souvenir stores we didn't buy anything but we just wanted to look around and there were a lot of maple syrup of course <laughs> because it's Canada. Yeah, but uh, also there were a lot of really nice uh, decorations with maple leaves, with, uh, you know, with bears and uh, mooses. So yeah, it was pretty interesting and pretty cool. A lot of fun stuff in those souvenir stores. Then we walked around a little bit more, weather was just amazing that day and actually we were really lucky because the weather was great uh, for all six days that we were there. And then we went back to the hotel, we ate the Kiev cake that we got from the Ukrainian restaurant, uh, had some tea and went to sleep. <laughs> So for the next day, we went to have breakfast at our hotel and we were surprised how decent and delicious and not that, you know, um, hotel pricey was that food. And then we went for a walk again, we walked around downtown area, we saw the Fairmount Hotel and then we booked the excursion. We actually booked this tour uh, before going to Vancouver and this tour included going to the Capilano Suspension Bridge Park, which was really amazing. And we enjoyed seeing the forest, we enjoyed reading about the history of this park and how it was built and we just enjoyed the nature and seeing those beautiful sceneries around us so if you go to Canada to Vancouver I highly recommend you visiting this park 
especially if you love nature, if you want to get some fresh air. And it's also great to go with kids, I think, because there were a lot of activities that were created especially for the little ones. So yeah, I thought that was pretty nice and a really refreshing experience. We had a little snack in this park that was some kind of pancakes. I don't remember how they co they're called, but that was pretty cool to sit and eat them there, surrounded by nature. Then we went back to the Canada place and we had some time before our next part of the tour. Next part is the flight on the water plane or water airplane. And we went to the Cactus Bar Cafe. I figured that this is like the chain and it's quite popular in Vancouver. So we really enjoyed being there. The food was delicious. And then we spent some time just getting tan. <laughs> and the weather was great again. And then we went to this station or to the port. I'm not sure how it's called. We got our boarding passes for our scenic tour. And yeah, then we spent about 20 minutes flying around Vancouver, looking at the beautiful downtown area, looking at the Vancouver from the airplane, looking at those mountains and beautiful ocean. Yeah, that was really amazing experience. I would say that I loved flying around San Francisco a little bit more, probably because of the Golden Gate Bridge, because it looks amazing. But Vancouver experience was great too. Then we went to the store and got ourselves swimming suits. We actually forgot that we had sauna in the hotel, so yeah, we bought those swimming suits for, for ourselves. We are going to, to the swimming pool and to hot tub and um, sauna that we have in our hotel. And I'm also eating these cheese, cheeses, cheeses, and they're so good. They're much better than Cheetos. This is me after sauna and hot tub and swimming pool three rounds of those <laughs> that was amazing it's already 10 a.m we are still in the hotel <laughs> i just washed my hair and we decided where to go today uh, we are deciding on the breakfast place and also we're thinking between going to the botanical garden or going to stanley park so we don't know where we go yet on the day three, we went to have breakfast in the Giovanni Cafe and we liked it. That was really delicious. Food was great and the views and the uh, interior was also really beautiful. So we enjoyed having breakfast there. We came to a botanical garden and it smells really great here and the weather is really nice today so we're gonna walk around here till 5 p.m. right now it's about 1 p.m. and yeah as I was saying on that video we went to the uh, botanical garden that's called Van Dusen botanical garden I'm not really sure that I pronounced it well but that was also an amazing experience there were a lot of stunning beautiful flowers beautiful plants all in all and yeah we liked it we enjoyed the nature again and it wasn't really you know i was expecting something boring because this is botanical garden but that wasn't boring they had a lot of activities as well they also had beautiful lakes i guess there is like there are maybe four of the of them in this park and we, they also had the maze that we went to they had a meditation garden they had like a garden of rocks and etc etc and i think that this botanical garden is great for kids and for adults as well so everyone would find something there the nature is great the a lot of uh, a lot of activities <music> Our next stop was Queen Elizabeth Park and 
that was really beautiful too. We didn't spend a lot of time there because it was already evening, but we went to the Seasons restaurant and that restaurant, like we, we expected that food would be not that delicious because that was the only restaurant in this park and they didn't have competition there, but we were stunned by the food by the staff and by the views as well, so we highly recommend you this restaurant. Then we were pretty tired, <laughs> actually, and we went straight to the hotel after the Queen Elizabeth Park. So we walked around the old town district today, and we went to this uh, urban fair market, got some food, got this tic tac with sprite flavor really good actually also got some water some snacks for ourselves buy new ritter sport chocolate new flavor should be good i think it's good <laughs> bananas apples also yogurts for like for snacking when we are in the hotel water of course and kinder surprise because they are not selling them in the US, <laughs> but they, they are selling them in Canada, so we got them. We are going to the pool and banya or sauna again, because we really liked it yesterday. So we're going to have some breakfast now and then we're going to this science museum <laughs> and uh, yeah I know that this lipstick shade is not for me and yeah before the science museum we went to the cafe to the coffee shop actually to get some breakfast we got the latte we got poppy seed pastry and i got this blue matcha latte which was so delicious that i wanted to try it out again then we went to see the sports wall of fame of british columbia on our way to the science museum and yeah we actually walked there so we enjoyed the city views as well and the science museum was pretty cool but it was uh, at least in my opinion mostly made for kids and they really had fun there they enjoyed it so much but me and my husband yeah we are adults but we actually enjoyed it too and we spent there quite a lot of time i guess we spent there like three hours or so and we went to see the body works we went to see some animals <laughs> some creatures and then we went to the ukrainian restaurant again because we really liked it the last time so we wanted to have this experience one more time before going back to san francisco because we don't have a lot of ukrainian restaurants <laughs> On our way back to the hotel, we went to the guest town again to see the clocks and we went to a couple of souvenir stores. I actually bought myself the notebook from the Kiki's delivery service, uh, Miyazaki's movie, because I love this. This is my favorite movie. <sighs> hello, hello, it's 6 p.m. and we are back at the hotel and we went to Ukrainian food restaurant again and we are really full <laughs> right now also we walked around the city for a little bit and uh, i came back to the hotel a little bit earlier because we are a bit tired after the museum and after walking uh, for several days <laughs> now i am reading my book i also wanted to do a face mask today to go to the gym maybe and to the sauna and swimming pool again but i'm not sure yet and we want to go to sleep a little bit early because tomorrow we are going to the Whistler village and we have to wake up at like 7 a.m. or something so yeah I guess see you tomorrow this is our breakfast today banana the oikos yogurt kinder surprise coffee with cream and the poppy seed pastry that's all we're gonna have we don't have time to go to a cafe because we have the tour to the Whistler village booked and we have to go we have to go out in like 20 minutes so yeah this is what we have time for all right let me give you a spoiler this tour was just amazing there were so 
so many interesting facts that we actually got to know because our tour guide was such an amazing guy and he was really funny he joked a lot and he also took a lot of photos of us and yeah first we went to see the waterfall and uh, it was it was stunning Then we took the sea to sky gondola. We spent about one and a half hour uh, there on the top and we enjoyed the view so so much that I didn't even uh, take a lot of pictures. But yeah, <laughs> I guess you can imagine how beautiful it is. The mountain tops covered with the snow and the weather is really beautiful. Yeah, you can see that we look really happy there <laughs> and they also had another suspension bridge i guess they're quite popular there in vancouver next destination of this tour was the Whistler village and this village held um, the Olympics in 2010 the Winter Olympics of course yeah that was a really interesting experience because we actually went to the Olympics village in Sochi Russia and they held the 2014 Winter Olympics there so it was really interesting to compare those two uh, cities those two villages actually yeah, but um, we liked it, we liked to walk around, to see some nice shops, the library, the Whistle library is just the work of art in terms of architecture, and the library, the museum, everything was really interesting to see, especially Whistler Museum. On our way back to Vancouver, we also made a couple of stops to see the mountains, to see nice ocean view and also the tour guide was still joking around and giving us some interesting facts, so we really enjoyed this tour. Good morning, this is our final day in Vancouver and um, yesterday we went to sleep pretty late, somewhere after 1am, so we woke up late obviously and it's already 12 p.m we didn't have a breakfast yet <laughs> but yeah that's our plan we are going to check out of the hotel and then go have breakfast and then we're going to stanley park i know that stanley park is like the number one thing in the must visit list uh, for vancouver but we decided to leave it for the last day and i think it makes sense so yeah see you there yeah as you can see for breakfast we went to the same place that we went on the fourth day then we decided to walk to the Stanley Park, even though it was like a 40 minutes walk or 30 minutes. Yeah, we really enjoyed it because we liked the city of Vancouver, the downtown is really beautiful. And Stanley Park was also really beautiful, a lot of nice, amazing views and a lot of people just enjoying themselves, enjoying the weather. I think that we were so lucky to get this weather in Vancouver because before we went we checked the weather and they actually said that there were gonna be a lot of rains <laughs> but somehow the weather changed for us maybe <laughs> and we didn't have rains at all in Vancouver which is I guess pretty rare so yeah we enjoyed the we enjoyed walking around the park looking at the beautiful bridge we got some you know, some Central Park vibes there. <music> then
then we took our luggage, we went to the airport, we ate some nice food. I was sleeping almost the whole flight, but I still got to enjoy the beautiful sunset from my window seat. Thank you so much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.